What's up, everybody? We are in Gainesville, Gainesville. by popular demand. Yeah, people have been asking us for Gainesville for a long time now. And we've been in Gainesville a lot. Oh, boy. Go, 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 women. No. I see with the, the, whatever that is, a bicycle trailer thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the Gainesville, y'all. You guys have been requesting Gainesville a lot, and we haven't done it. Um, not because we didn't want to, but because... Well, they had a polo tropical here. Apparently. Um, we've been in Gainesville a lot lately, but it's we haven't done videos. I'm yeah. sorry about that, but we're here today with the camera recording. So, uh, at the last intersection, there's somebody begging. We'll see what, what it looks like out here. Um, it's been a while since we've been in Gainesville. Uh, like, through the city. We used to drive through Gainesville at night um, a lot back in the day, but like... It looks like there's brand new shopping yeah. centers everywhere. I think we've stayed in Gainesville twice by the highway and all that. Well, I mean, we're always coming through 75 and yeah. we stop by and eat by the highway and all that. Um, but we usually get off at the next exit over, which uh, there's like a lot of like restaurants and stuff. So this is uh, tw uh, 24. Which, which is, is Archer Road. Archer Road, yeah. Um, there's a, a lot of business here as well. There's uh, Olive Garden, Publix right over here. So there's a lot of business here. We uh, <coughs> have done a lot of Ocala, but Gainesville we don't. Um, it's kind of because like we're, when we're coming in or out of Florida, we try to at least make it to Ocala before we stop usually. So um, I think there's a nice Cracker Barrel here. We've eaten there a few times by the highway. Mm -hmm. So here in Gainesville, they have uh, the University of Florida. They also have... Um, you need that turbo. Yeah, a turbo. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a while since we actually drive through Gainesville. And we used to drive through Gainesville. would almost always be at night. And it was pretty hood. Wow, look at the traffic going that way. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of traffic. More than Ocala, I think. Yeah. School's back in session. Yeah. Too, so. Oh, yeah, a panda. Does the camera look pretty straight to you from there? Yeah. Looks fine. Candy's driving today. Hmm. There's a lot of people from South Florida moving into Ocala. You sure it's straight? Doesn't look kind of like No. They got brand new Starbucks. Big trucks. Remember, like, one of the first times we ever saw squatted trucks? was in Alachua. Yeah. And uh, Pope so The last, last time I think we drove through here, nothing was here. Bro, look at all those new businesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's changed a lot. Yeah. And this looks kind of like, ooh, Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. Grub. Yeah. Yeah, this has changed a lot. This Panera. This is like unrecognizable since the last time we were here. Moe's. Basically, like millennial. <laughs> yeah, this is very millennial here. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's almost as nice as Tallahassee. Yeah. It's been a while since we've been here, like, like through the city. We would come uh, on the way up to Jacksonville through here on 301, so we would always cut through here. But we would mostly cut through uh, Williston Road, which is south of here. And you know we'd get off at the gas. It was always late at night. There was we always get off at the gas stations. There'd be fights and stuff. It was pretty wild. It was never quiet at night. And it would always be on a Friday night, so it would always be wild. When we used to drive the pigeon trailer, we would come through here Friday nights. Carabas with the trees on top. I love how they do that. It seems pretty chill. Very millennial-ish. Very Florida-ish. It doesn't look as ghetto as I remember it. Yeah, like they really cleaned it up. They've Bojangles. It up. Bojangles. See, I have never tried it, have you? No. We still haven't tried Bojangles. Mm -hmm. I think they're from North Carolina here. I don't know. They had apartments for it right there. Yeah. Probably student housing. You know, people from Gainesville and Ocala don't get along. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got all types of beef with each other. They got like this songs about each other and everything. Mm -hmm. and they really don't get along. Mm -hmm. They got some rivalries. 
You'd think they'd actually be like like each other because they're in the same region, but they don't. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like for some reason, Lake Bluffs and Port Charlotte people kind of don't vibe very well. Yeah. Regional differences. Mm -hmm. Like Miami and Jacksonville, for example, don't get along too well. Dude, we're in North Florida already. We went hard today. But like Gainesville's the one city you guys have just been so many people on my channel. Gainesville, when are you gonna do Gainesville? When are you gonna do I'm like, dang, it's it's hard because we're we're normally driving through here at night. At night, or we're like going cross state. It's hard yeah. for us to stop on a spot that's kind of like Lake City is one of those cities we just haven't done. But it's like. Kind of out of breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I like it today. It looks nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty heavy traffic today. It is 432 though. Mm -hmm. The rain is south of us today. There's a Jimmy John's up ahead. Campus Edge. University of Florida's up ahead. Kind of reminds me of Auburn. Mm -hmm. hmm. I, I think there's more stuff here than in Auburn. It's a bigger city, I think, for sure. <laughs> New Wawa. Look at these gray apartments over here. Mm -hmm. Tennessee. It's more tropical than Auburn. Definitely. Western Virginia. Mm hmm. Well, too. there are a lot of students from across the country. Hmm. Well, back in traffic again. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. He's got he's got New York license plates. Yeah. Does he? Does he? Where? That's who else? A Subaru with two kayaks on top. <laughs> uh, all. The, how did you not even catch that? I wasn't paying attention. Come on, bro. A Subaru, bro. You don't see the Subaru? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't New York. Put the temperature a little bit warmer. Uh, this truck was the best thing we ever bought. Yes. I'm, I, I, I'm not even tired. If we're in a Yukon, by the time we got here, I'd already be like exhausted from driving. Yeah. Like, you could literally drive this thing. It brakes so smoothly. It picks up so nicely. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people would probably tell me to go with the 5.3. Just about everybody I've talked to said, man, you should have gone with the 5.3 because it hauls more. But we're, we barely haul anything. We, when we do it's not. Haul. When we do haul something, it's not 12,000 pounds. It's like four to 5,000 pounds. So this 2.7 turbo, <clears throat> it's faster, it's sportier. It has a better braking capacity. It brakes quicker, it accelerates quicker. I think it does zero to 60 in like seven seconds or something like that. I don't know, something like that. It's pretty fast, it's sporty for a truck. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like the way it handles more than the 5.3, I feel like for some reason, the 5.3s are like, they're like bogged down, you know? Mm -hmm. This thing feels free. Like, it feels like a featherweight, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, it feels like, like it's light. It's really light when you're driving it. <coughs> it doesn't shake too much. Um, is that a Jeep facing the wrong way? What happened there? <laughs> oh. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> We got a Jeep facing the other way in traffic. That is hilarious. No cops. Because the car sold out. I saw it, yeah. I yeah. saw it. I saw it. But I, I just think it's funny how um, how they actually did it. No, not even a cop run. It's just, it just randomly. Like, we'll fix it right here on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think the Yukon's really got to go. Mm -hmm. well, the kids are getting out of school. Yeah. I see a lot of people in doctor. Is this a hospital here? Well, a lot of nurses and stuff go here too. Get training here, and there is a hospital right there, so it's this probably is what I would a teaching hospital. Being in New York would feel like mm -hmm. we're gonna be in New York. That's awesome. New York. Here's a Mustang revving its engine. I feel bad for all these pedestrians. You gotta be terrified. I want to go to Niagara Falls. Wash your mouth, women. Why? Right next to Canada. So. Canada. Michigan's next to Canada. I'm going to New York. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go to New York. I'm going to New York. 
Couldn't we do both? We could. But I'm not excited about New York. I'm excited about New York! I want to see I wanna a meet, big like, waterfall. I want to meet like a place. I want to get off somewhere. It's just a bunch of Italians. Like, I'm from New York. Call Vinny and Tony. Like, that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> and whatever that... Where do I find these people, by the way? If you're watching my channel, please let me know. Where can I find the most... What neighborhood has the most New York New Yorker? I want to I'm go guessing to, Brooklyn. Brooklyn? I'm guessing... I don't know the place. Yeah, I don't think I've never been there. Mm -hmm. I want to see Washington Heights for sure. Yeah. Hoboken, what are we doing here? About 24. Follow 24 until 441. That's what I'm saying on this route. Okay, so this is our second homeless pe person here. The other one did not look homeless. <laughs> you see the other homeless person we saw? That dude was not homeless. He was like on his phone talking to his homie all excited. Like, yo, cut, man, I'm over here bagging off. I was like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. KC. Oh well, you gotta be careful with that hat. You know that hat's gang related. Yeah. The Casey hat. You gotta be really careful where you wear that hat. Like I don't. I, I saw a green. Remember when we were out when we were clothes shopping for me, and I saw that green, like that lime green shirt. Yeah. And I didn't get it. Yeah. In New York, you can't wear that color. Oh. Okay. Because the Dominicans wear that color for a gang. Okay. So you can't just wear that because like in New York they do. I'm, I'm pretty sure they have gang stuff in New York. Yeah. But a Hispanic wearing that could really look. I don't know, it's got good vibes for young people. Mm -hmm. Lots of white women everywhere, that's always good. It seems like it's probably good. They're fatter than the ones in Alabama, though. I know kids in my high school either went here or Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Yeah. White girl screwed her. This place is like millennial capital. Yeah. <clears throat> It feels wholesome, though. It doesn't feel trashy. Yeah. No, well, not as much as Auburn. Like, in Auburn, you're not going to find homeless people begging. So, we've seen at least two homeless people begging already. You don't see... Oh, look at that Benz. In, Aub in Alabama, you just don't see that. You don't see people begging in Alabama. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, Alabama, like, it feels like Auburn's a little bit more wholesome as far as, like, the experience of being there. Yeah. I don't know which school on paper looks better, though. Look at that man. Yeah. He <laughs> jacked it up, bro. Graffiti on that pool, that's cool. There's like graffiti underneath that. Mm -hmm. Did you catch that? There's like a bridge that goes underneath the road. Okay. Okay, this looks identical to Auburn, Alabama. Yeah. This looks like identical to Auburn. A lot of college towns do. Look all the same? Yeah. Yeah, this was like a little mini New York. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. But everybody here is a student. There's like no doubt about it. Yeah. It seems like it's got more life in Tallahassee. But then we went to Tallahassee when there were when people were just starting to move in and out. So like mm -hmm. a different time frame. Yeah. Go 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 go. Fall asleep on it. Yeah. I think the white girls are hotter in Auburn. Jose, why are you paying attention to that? Oh, I'm not paying attention to that. I'm just, you know. I don't know. Why'd you stop? You could have gone. Okay, I, I feel like I'm in, like, a New York City here. There's, like, so many people. And... Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, from a 1 to a 10, I'll give the white girls here a 3. Jose. I'll give the white girls an opera and a 10. What? Look at that one. She's fat. She's not even... Fat people shouldn't even... What the crap is this white kid? He's like the most white looking white kid I've ever seen. <laughs> Shorts all the way up to there. He looks so white, he reminds me of my brother Daniel. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> oh my. He's like the whitest looking white dude. He looks like my like he's so white he reminds me of my brother. Yeah. Look at that white girl. She's fat now. I'm kinda of fat. Huh. I guess looking healthy is not really a thing here. Most college yeah. towns, kids are like, you know, they're jogging. Oh, I need to get over. Yeah, you gotta get on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, as long as there's no car there. Yeah. Am I good or? No, no, no. Don't ask me. You're the one driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're driving. You're asking me if you can go. That's scary. Yeah. Okay, this oh, guy's yeah. a pervert. He's got that pervert look. Any guy that wears glasses and hangs out, I'll have a laptop is creepy. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. These are some of the weirdest looking white people I've ever seen. Yeah. So here, 
Hey, you can make a right here. That's what I was doing. But if you go... I'm making the right. Dude, there's a Cuban bakery up ahead. No. If you go straight ahead, there's a Cuban bakery. Yeah, I'm turning right. You sure? Uh, yes. But well, there's a Cuban bakery. And this might be the last Cuban bakery for the next 300 miles. Or more. Fine, go ahead and make a right. You're gonna regret doing this. These are some of the strangest looking white people I've ever seen. I'm not sure why. What do you think, Captain? Uh, First of all, like, they're young, but they look like they're just, like, exhausted about life, you know? They yes. don't look like, like they're happy about their future. Maybe it's a crappy time to be a millennial. Yeah. Are these millennials? No, these are, these are, uh... What are these things called? This looks like Miami right here, bro. Thai restaurant? Z yeah. Generation... Z or something like that? No, these aren't millennials? No. Yeah, they are. We are millennials. Yeah, no, but, they no, are. No, but no. millennials, hold on. Let me ask him. Are you a millennial? You a millennial? Are you a millennial? No? <laughs> Gen Z. Or something like they that. They don't talk. Okay. Yeah. Not, I don't know friendly. what this generation is. People called. are not friendly. <laughs> but I do know the generation, it's like 1980 to 1995. Okay, there's an easy solution to this. Hey Siri, what is a millennial? Bro, this looks like Miami. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this looks just like Miami. It feels What's like that? it too. Doesn't this feel like Miami? Yeah. I'm having like hot okay. flashes. Okay. I found this on the web for what is a millennial bro sounds like Miami. Check it out. <laughs> um, hey Siri, what is a millennial? I think it's up to the year 2000. Hey Siri, what is a millennial? So that guy's jogging. One guy jogging in the whole town. These One people moment. don't care about themselves. It's a pretty sad time to be young. Yeah. Millennials, also known as Generation Y or Gen Y, are the demographic cohort following Generation X and preceding Generation Z. Generation Z. Want to hear more? How old are millennials? One moment. Here's what I found from PewResearch.org. Anyone born between 1981 and 1996, ages 23 to 38 in 2019. Oh crap, so these are not millennials. No, they're not. Okay. So I'm calling these people old by telling them they're millennials. Yeah. No wonder they were offended. <laughs> we're not even young anymore, bro. We're like... No, we're old. Crap, bro. Morgan and Morgan, four the people who don't want to get a job. So these are Generation Zs. But is there a nickname for Generation C's? Like, we're millennials. Are they like... Like, mini millennials? or? I, I think it's Zetas, but look. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Hey, Siri. What is the nickname for Generation Z? If there isn't one, we gotta give them a name. One sec. Papa Talk. Bro, look at that thing right there. My cool. I got a plan. This feels like a cross between Miami. Here's an answer from Merriam-Webster.com. Zoomer is a nickname for referring to members Rattie. of Generation Z. Zoomers. Those Zoomer? Early 90s and early 2000s. Okay, so these are Zoomers. Because they're on, on the Zoom app. Zoomers. They're Zoomers. Okay, I can remember that. Yeah. They're Zoomers. But they're not... So there's Boomers and Zoomers. Boomers are really old, aren't they? Like super old. Like oh my gosh, story? the corner store <laughs> sells vegan hot dogs. <laughs> what the crap is a vegan hot dog? It's a hot it's dog not made of meat. The Cuban bakery is just passed it a block ago. Well, go and win when you're getting passed by a dang bus. Bro, I like this. This is nice. It's like a mini. Ooh, look at the rims on that. Mm -hmm. I like it. I really do. It's like a cross between Auburn and LaGrange, Georgia. Mm -hmm. No, like Miami and LaGrange, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the people, they look like they're like not happy about their kids. Mm -hmm. Why would you? Oh, yeah, me hello, but do you like myself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a road here called Waldo Road. You can take that. I think it's called yeah Florida State 24. Which is uh, not a few like four blocks ahead or five. You can take a, a left four or five blocks ahead, or you can keep going. 
Yeah, you can probably take that left. It'll take you to Waldo. And on Waldo, you'll get on 301. And then we can do a video on Stark. <clears throat> this is pretty nice, to be honest. No complaints on mine, right? Oh, yeah. I love these houses. Yeah, this is very nice. Like, mm -hmm. it really. You know, we've only been through the ghetto parts again, so that's the problem. Like, we've only been. Oh, look at that abandoned, like, old mansion. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that. It's just a nice house is abandoned. That's not a good sign. Yeah. Not but open I do a see... oh, look, it's a newer style waffle house. Yeah. I do see a lot has changed. And Lucas it's stone. getting better. Yeah, it's definitely improving from the last. I mean, we used to come here, we just like really ghetto. Now, there is a ghetto side of the town. It's not all pretty. Take a left here. Left? Okay. Mm -hmm. Except that McDonald's <laughs> side. Look at that Hungry Howie's. Yeah. It seems like a very nice per place for young people. <laughs> a few beggars and stuff. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm from the hood, though. Like the hood though, like really, really, really from the hood though. Like where plotters go, like where the rent's slow, like where Jose goes. <laughs> <laughs> so oh man, there's a hood if you want to go to that. I'll leave that for another video. That I mean, who? Oh, the gente tiene no. Oh, the man da pa pa chorra. What does that mean anyways, pachorra? You're hear an old person say that. Tremenda pachorra. What is a pachorra? I don't know. It sounds know. vulgar, doesn't it? I think I've heard your dad say this it. This kind of looks ghetto here. A little ghetto. Are they trying to say Toyota? No, pach pachorra. It sounds like Toshota. Toshota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it means. I think it means like you're really taking your town. But like in a very offensive way. I don't know what it means. I've never... I don't know. Up. Ask your dad. Northeast neighbors. <laughs> this looks kind of hood. There's graffiti on that building right there. Mm -hmm. Are we in the hood? Yeah. I know 36th Street was pretty hood. You see that? Up around 36th Street. 39th Street. That's the one. We can leave that for another video. We can do a hood video later. We should do like a one hour. I just want to get to where we're going. I know. I know. We're on the road. I want to start having Waldo. fun. I wonder we take 301. We should try that barbecue place in Waldo. Remember that barbecue place? Mm-mm. Randy's Rib Shack. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang, it's close. Mm. <clears throat> okay, I'm a little cold. I'm a little hot. I'm a little cold. We're just going to have to agree to disagree on this one. I, 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 no, no, no. The Yukon does have dual zone air conditioning. There, but just put these things on you. Put that air vent on you. There you go. That's what I need. You're a tremendous guaparia. And I'm going to quit with a sore. Don't look at me like that. I guess we only seen the crappy sides of Gainesville. It's about time we see something nice. New York! Hey, baby, that guy's from New York. Mm -hmm. And is that I can't wait till I'm in New York and everybody's from New York. I know. So if you if you know trademark metal recycling, the hood's definitely around here. They don't put a recycle yard just anywhere. Yeah. We drove to here one time, remember? Yeah. Not on video, but yeah. Yeah, it changed a lot. It yeah. used to be a lot more hood. And they've landscaped Pass it? Pass this thing, please. Yes, sir. No, porque tú te metes atrás de este tipo y te metes el dos rastras ahí a atravesar. Y tú te metes atrás de ella, bro. Pásalo, acelera, mijo. Step on it. Ah. Put your hands on me again. I'll press charges. Don't. Casa, mo. Están comiendo basura. Están atravesados. Vale, meten la pata hasta abajo. ¿Qué tú tienes gasolina? You do, do, do you not understand Spanish? No, I don't. Oh, I said hear the crap up. Just pass them all. I want to hear that turbo roar. I love to hear that turbo. 
You know, you can get this thing. I don't know if it's mechanically sound for the vehicle, but you can get this thing. It's called a blow valve or something, and it makes the turbo sound louder. Like, it lets the air from the turbo escape. But the thing is, I think it's not a good idea to do it because this car has so many computers in the engine that it's probably best not to mess with any of them. Make sense? Well, anyways, everybody was like, get the 5.3, get the 5.3. I'm like, bro, I'm good. I'm going to try this smaller engine and see how it goes. It's sportier, it's faster. I have noticed that's, that there's they're very inconsistent. Like, some of the ones I've driven, the turbo's louder. Other ones, it's quieter. I don't know what that's about. Like, each turbo, each truck, like, individually has its own, like, thing going on. Like the one we test drove in Alabama, didn't that one like sound incredible? Like the trouble was like really loud and like. They probably make it louder for Alabama. No, no, that's just each individual truck. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they don't all come out the same way. Mm. Like some are like, I don't know, they're not, they're not they're very inconsistent. Like the one we drove in um in Naples, the black one. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the way that one drove at all. The rim doing that so wrong. I don't think well, it was fresh. older too, so it's gonna yeah. have age to it. Okay, so by the way, guys, on this Silverado, I'm gonna keep it stock probably. We're 22 miles from start, 10 miles from water. I'm probably gonna keep it stock because, um, for the most part, it looks like when I put the big wheels on it, it was bouncing all over the road and it looked really cool, but it was like. Please speed the crap up. I just didn't like the way it rolled and it was rubbing too. And I'm not going to spend $6,000 to lift this thing up. Besides, lift kits, they just destroy and they mess up everything. And I'm not, I paid too much money for this truck to destroy it, so it's going to stay stock. I don't see me putting wheels on this. I might later on, but I don't think so. Stock. All right, guys, there it is. That's a ride through um, Gainesville, Florida. We've done Gainesville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Little Hatchet Creek. Hope you guys like the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe.